वेलकम बैक टुडे वी आर रीडिंग केजेंस एडवेंचर सरप्राइज एट फाइव रिटन बाय डार्सल को रॉबिन्सन इलस्ट्रेटेड बाय भाग्य रत्नावेरा सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड अ लिटिल प्रिंसेस इज टर्निंग फाइव शी थिंक्स शी इज सो वाइज She is so very excited, just absolutely delighted. Can you believe how time flies? Soon Kagan will be 5. Shh. I'm working on a big surprise. Counting the minutes until the special day arrives. Can't hardly wait. It will be so great. Five, five, five! In just five days, Kagan will be five. At one, she was crawling, then standing, then walking. At two, she was so very curious, and I tried not to be furious. At three, she liked to stand on her own and sometimes be alone. At four, she grew like a weed and learned to go with the flow. Time just flies. That's what I'm talking about, don't you know? Now, Kagan thinks she will be so wise. Well, at least she will get big high fives. She is not a baby anymore, as you know. She soon will be five. But. That not really a surprise. Kagan was so happy to see Aria arrive. Then she called out, "Are you ready, Kagan? Are you ready to be five?" "Yes, Aria. Yes, I am so ready to be five. It's going to be great." "Are you sure it's five?" "No, Ray teases." Are you really sure you won't be eight? No, no, Ray. Kagan laughs. No, silly. I'll be five in just five days. What's so special about five? A Mariana asked. Will something happen when you turn five? Will there be balloons or games or maybe candy? Will a prince and princess be coming to the party? A Mariana keeps questioning, anxious to be five too. What about a king and a queen? Maybe everybody will come. Kagan cheered. You just wait. It will be the best day ever. She looked at her grandma and waited for an answer. But Nana only winked, smiled, and didn't say a word. But Nana had planned a special surprise. That day would be awesome for Kagan to turn five. Would it be a toy, or maybe a horse? Would it be a bowl, or could it be a very beautiful doll? Anything would be nice, even pretty clothes. Just not any bows. No, 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 no! Please, no bows. Kagan's so excited and can hardly wait. I am ready, whatever it takes. She shouted with joy. I want to bake. Nana thought. Yes, that's it. I will make super sweet cake. Will it be chocolate? Maybe vanilla? What about strawberry? Or even a really blueberry? You know, the party has to be a surprise. Nana whispered, "It's not too late. There's no reason why." Will the weather be sunny or will it be rainy? Will the wind be cold? Will the sun be hot? Should we have it inside or party outside? Kagan is so ready to be five. She just can't wait. 
It will be so fun. So please don't hate. Hello, somebody, are you there? Kagan called out, looking for her friends. Aria, Nore, Amariana, are you here? Is anybody here? She yelled again, hoping to see some neighbors too. Do you know where they are? She asked her grandma. Shh! Nana whispered. She was keeping a secret. Hide and seek? Chigi whispered too. I love to play games! She covered her eyes and counted. One, two, three, four, five. Can you find me? I can't find you. Get ready. Get set go. She cheered. Nana watched Kagan running around. It made her think. My granddaughter is a little nosy and can't wait for her surprise. She thinks because she is turning five, everyone should be on her side. But I have a secret, a very big surprise. Do you know what it is? Will it be at the park? Will it get too dark? It might be too swift. Do you get my drift? Can it be at the school? How about during recess? Wouldn't that be too much fun? Can we play the drums? Kagan was so excited. She just kept asking, Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? No, Kagan. Nana chuckled. No one is here. No, no yet. You have two days. Two days until you will be five. Two days until you get a big surprise. One, two, she was tiptoeing. Three, four, she was stepping on my toes. Five, she is going to be, oh my gosh. What? Kagan squealed in delight. Just two days until I am surprised and five? Yes. Nana nodded. What colors do you think? What about pink? Oh, yes. Kagan cheered. I love pink and I won't blink. Will there be five friends, Nana? Kagan whooped. And five cakes? And five flavors of ice cream? And five candles? Can everything be five because I will be five? Oh, yes. Nana laughed and clapped. Because you will be so nice at five. Yay! Kegu cheered. Tell me more. But Nana only smiled and whispered. Shh. It has to be a surprise and I will tell you no more. Then the day finally came. They went out to the clubhouse to see where everyone was. Kagan turned on the light. Everyone yelled, Surprise Kagan! Kagan was truly astonished. It was great! They played games and cake and ice cream they ate. Then it was time to open presents, rip the paper, take off the bows and peek at the contents. Kagan was thrilled with all the different toys and clothes. There were so very many, just too many to name, but thankfully no bows. It was the best birthday. She even got a big bouquet. Kagan was happy as could be. She laughed and danced and shouted with glee. Kagan loved her Nana because she was the best. 
Her party was great and she knew she was blessed. Then she saw it a present that was still wrapped. She was so happy she jumped and clapped. There it was all wrapped in pink. What's in that big box? She just had to think. I wonder if this is my gift. Kagan smiled. Did you see a card or note on it? Nana winked. As Kagan walked over to open the gift, it started moved. Kagan squealed and jumped back. What can it be? Moving closer once again, she couldn't wait. As soon as the box was open, she couldn't believe her eyes. There it was, exactly what she wished for. It was a new puppy. Yes, it's true. A beautiful puppy just for her. Everyone clapped and cheered. Yay! Nana really did something extra special for Kagan's happy day. Her friends surrounded her to play with the puppy. Aria quickly asked, what are you going to name her, Kagan? Amaria said, Bella. Nore suggested Crazy Gary. Aria happily yelled, Clumsy Cinnamon. But it was a Nana was chuckled. What about Nunu? Nunu? All the girls laughed. Kagan really couldn't decide what to name her new friend. But that didn't matter. She was super excited to have her own puppy again. Looking at her new furry bundle, it only took a minute before she smiled, nodded and announced. Madam Misty. Looking at her friends, her smile got brighter. Yes, that is what we will name her Madam Misty. Looking at her grandma, Kagan blew a kiss and cheered. Thank you, Nana. You're the best. Thanks for watching. Bye.